Hello student, welcome back. Uh, in the session, we are going to discuss the orthographic positions of line inclined to both planes and uh, I am considering a problem from exercise 9b of Vasant Agrawal and I am taking a problem number line uh, 9.11. So, let me read out the given data over here. Uh, the line PQ 75m long is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the VP means phi is 30 degrees and 75 is a P dash Q dash. Oh, sorry, uh, <coughs> it is PQ. PQ is 75 mm and at, uh, phi is uh, 30 degrees. The end P is on HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Means P dash falls on XY and P is 30 mm down to the XY line. The end Q is 15 mm, uh, 50 mm over the HP and draw the projections and uh, the line locate the traces and find other missing data from the question. So let me read out the uh, write the given data for this problem number line point eleven. Uh, given data for this thing is a line PQ that is seventy five mm. Angle phi is uh, thirty degrees. And uh, P is. 30 mm, oh sorry, P is on HP and uh, 30 mm in front of VP, right. Then, uh, have to consider the end Q is 50 mm above the HP means, Q is 50 mm above the HP. And draw the projections. And another end of Q is not given over here. So first I'll be taking the reference line over here. I'll take out this to book part so I can draw clearly. So I'll be drawing over here. This one. Reference line and uh, locate the position of P and the position of P is over here because P is on HP. So P dash falls here and in front uh, the distance is 30 mm so I'll take 30 mm over here. This would be P. This is a locus line and this is LL of P dash and Q2 dash and this would become LL of P and Q1. Okay, uh, then the phi is given over here, the true length is 75, so I will be taking the angle of 30 degrees from here and I will uh, draw a line of 75 mm, that is the true length. This is Q2, phi is uh, 30 degrees and this is true length. 75 mm and I'll now I'll draw a locus line uh, before that uh, let me draw the dimension of this one 30 now I'll draw the locus line of Q2 on this line only our Q comes LL of Q2 and Q now we got this one so, Q is given that is 50 mm above the HP. So, just take a line 50 mm above here. This is LL of Q1 dash and Q dash, right? And this is 50 mm. So now I can take the true length from here, measure 75 mm and draw arc. So this is 75 mm. I'll be measuring this. Just poke on P dash and uh, draw here. So this is Q1 dash and uh, this is the true length.
75 mm and now as we got q1 dash and q2 just draw the line here and here this would become q2 dash and this would become q1 now take the compass measure the distance and draw the locus arc this point is q dash and this is locus arc of q2 dash and q dash next measure this distance and this would be q so pq is the final top view and p dash q dash is the final front view and this length is uh, over 66 so front view is 66 mm now coming to the top view top view is 55 mm see here 55 mm next we have to find the theta theta It is 43 degrees and alpha that is 50 degrees beta and uh, beta is over here 44 degrees Just I'm be rounding off the angles is not exact to that that would be around 44.1 or 243.9 or something else just I'm rounding off the angle next we have to find the traces of this one so for the traces for the vertical trace I have to extend the top view this is B and uh, this is uh, H dash this is H means this would become horizontal trace ht and ht is 30 mm next i have to extend this and i have to draw the perpendicular line from v to get v dash This is V dash, this is vertical trace and uh, just let me measure it. This would be around uh, 37 mm, 37 mm. So here we have got all the elements that is uh, front view, true length, theta, alpha, phi, beta, horizontal trace, vertical trace and the distance between O1, O2, this is O1 and uh, if we draw the perpendicular line, uh, joining Q and uh, Q dash and Q that would become the second uh, projector this is O2 so the distance between O1 O2 would be 40 mm so this one this length is 40 mm so see here we have represented all the elements means all the representations dimensions and uh, dark line light lines only the projection and horizontal trace vertical trace should be dark i hope everyone understand how to draw these type of questions do subscribe the channel and follow it regularly for uh, updates in engineering graphics thank you